So we have a problem. We've both misplaced our uh, sunglasses. <laughs> I don't know where mine is. I'm hoping they're in the car, man. I feel naked. But welcome back to another video on the channel. I'm here with my beautiful wife. Once, once again, I have partnered up with Shell, and this time we're in Scottsdale, Arizona for the National Ferrari Club of America event. And we've shipped the F12 out here. We're gonna have an awesome time. There's gonna be rallies. We're going to a concourse right now. And we're also gonna do a cold start, of course for the first time in a while. No, I forgot to film the cold start. Well, oh well. Warm start, sort of, I guess. <laughs> All right, so we went into Walgreens, actually found some sunglasses, I hate them. But I <laughs> I need something, because I'm so sensitive to, to light, that's why I always wear sunglasses. It's the weirdest beginning of a video ever. But anyhow, we got, we got here yesterday and picked up the car and everything, so check that out. Well, good morning, guys. It is early, early in the morning. I don't think I've started a vlog this early ever. So we're actually on our way to the airport. My wife and I are flying to Arizona. We gotta back out the Beamer real quick, but as you might be able to tell, I positioned the F-150 last night so I wouldn't have to start this thing <laughs> at this time in the morning, because that would definitely wake up half the neighborhood. We do, however, have to start the Raptor, but that's no biggie. Yeah, see, she's quiet. The M5, however, is pretty loud on a cold start, and I don't enjoy trying to wake up my neighbors, but I, I don't think it's wake up neighbors loud. That definitely is the F-150, if you guys can still see it. I know it's dark. No, I mean, I think we're good. I mean, it's rumbly, it's rumbly, but it's not super loud. Do you enjoy flying? No, no. <laughs> He's sleeping back right there. <laughs> Hope he's not a subscriber. We have four hours until we land in Scottsdale. And here we are, Scottsdale, Arizona. Hi, baby. Hey, honey. We got the Ferrari back, look at that. And she's in great company. Look over here. There's another white F12. But look, this one is wrapped in satin white. And it's got the red interior, but no sports seats. Oh, it's got the red steering wheel as well. Nice. Another white F12, what do you know? We got GTC for Lusa, we got a 488. Another 488. This is a 599. Got 328, 48. I'm not expert on these uh, older Ferraris, but it's a, it's a beauty, that's for sure. What do you think of these older ones, honey? I love the older ones. Yeah, it's a 308. I'm sorry, 308. So this car right here is the predecessor to my car, but this is a GTO. I wouldn't be surprised if, depending on the mileage and everything, this is probably worth. 600,000. So the one of the reasons why I love the F12 is that we can actually fit stuff in here. I mean, it's the most practical supercar ever. <laughs> oh. Almost. Oh. Minor little issue here. I can't recalibrate the TPMS sensors, and I don't know why. But I checked the car. There's, it's not low on on tire on any wheel, so we're just gonna roll with it. But it's just kind of annoying, and I can't reset it. But we're gonna care about that. My wifey's happy, happy life, happy wife, or the other way around. It's a beautiful mountain. She loves Arizona. So check it out. We've arrived at the Ferrari Concourse. I have never in my life seen so many Ferraris in one spot. This is insane. 
We got a 360 Modena, 355 Spider. We got an 812. Look at that. 458s for days, 488s for days. Oh, we got a 458 Speciale Aperta. Look at that. Parker, is this you? Man, what a beautiful car. This is amazing. So my wife wants to take a picture of this away, but she doesn't really care about the cars. She, she yes, wants the I mountains do. in the I want background. The yellow cars. I want the mountains, the sky, and you in it. Go. Of course, we had to stop by the F40, show the wifey for the first time. What do you think of an 80s super duper mega Ferrari? I mean, it's different design, of course, it's but, different, but you could just tell, like, even today, this car blows me away. I absolutely love the F40. You just walk around here, it's just Ferraris all the way. Again, I've never seen so many Ferraris in one place. It's like heaven here. Oh, we got an F12. Stock format for the purest lovers. <laughs> so we're here by the La Ferrari. I was going to show her this for the first time. She's taking a picture <laughs> of a modified F150. What is wrong with you? I don't know. I love it. Well, it doesn't look better than my truck. Why, why do you come to Scottsdale, Arizona and take pictures of F-150s? I, like trucks. I know you like trucks, but what's so damn special about that one? I don't know. It just looks gorgeous. Oh, wait, look at that. Look right. at the La Ferrari. Honey. Yes, I'm looking at it. What do you think of oh, it? Oh, man, man. Are you just saying that? No, I'm not just saying that. <laughs> look at the interior. Look, ladies and gentlemen, the La Ferrari, the ultimate Ferrari. This, oh, oh my God. That interior. This is so amazing. It is amazing. It is. This is what you need to buy if you want to be a Ferrari owner and have a car where the doors go up unless you buy an Enzo. Came out in what, 2012-13? Still looks like it came out yesterday. I love this car. And then we got the 430 which in my opinion is one of the best looking Ferraris ever made at least from the front. This is a 16M Scuderia as well. Spider. Oh yeah. And here we got a 458 Speciale Coupe. So for anyone that knows figure out these signatures here oh my god if money was not an issue hello this is what I would have look at this paint that is so different look at this paint honey oh yeah it's like it's almost it almost looks like bare metal yeah it looks like bare metal what it is there's no paint on it what are you serious yeah it's the only one in the world raw TDF is this yours yeah I have a I have a regular F12 this oh my god yeah this is the only one in the world so this is the only one in the world in just metal wow that I like holy sh I mean can you guys believe this the only F12 TDF or F12 I would say probably TDF or non TDF in raw metal there's no paint like why do you even need paint when you can have this look at this and then we got blue carbon. Uh, we got air louvers, unlike the air vents that I have. We got a different diffuser as well, and it's blue carbon. Look at that. Look at that. And this is a sick plate, raw TDF. Wow. Wow. Holy crap. Oh, I love it. Look at these details. We have a different front end as well. The splitter is different from my car. It's got a little more power. It's got rear wheel steering and it's limited edition, of course, which is why this car is probably worth around $1.2 million. I'm blown away by this right here. Wow. This is heaven, babe. I know. <laughs> this it is, is heaven. heaven. It is because, I mean, of where we are, too. Yeah, see, this car made me completely forget about the beautiful backdrop. Man, wow, wow. I like this more than the La Ferrari. I like it too because it's so unique. And the 458 Speciale Aperta. Uh, That's sick. Sick. I love, sick. It. I love, it. I love it. So we got Ferrari 355 row right here. And check this one out. They're pretty much the only one that is modified. And I actually love these white wheels on a black one. It looks great. It's got a white shift knob. What do you guys think? This looks great. Man, I am so grateful that I was invited to this. What a day. Thank you, Shell. <laughs> <laughs> She's not as excited, but I know, I know she likes it though. No, but Maybe that's not okay. as excited no, as you. Of course not. Of course yeah, not. That's of course rare. Not. <laughs> and then we got the classic 80s Ferrari Testarossa. There's something special about older Ferraris. I mean, just older cars in general. Look at that gated manual. 
I mean, obviously if, you know, you jump into something like this from a modern Ferrari, you don't have the performance and everything, but it's still gonna be a different experience. And I appreciate these older cars. Looks great in black as well. I mean, it, it's got a really cool design. I mean, it looks like a supercar when you look at it. This is something, I feel like I should know more about something like this. It looks very, very special. And from looking at the little sign here, it's a 1952 model, uh, it's a 212 Intergia. Probably not mispronouncing that, but it is a beautiful car. But I don't, you know, don't know the history of it. Oh, look at that. I'm sure it's worth tons of money as well, and I don't know about it. <laughs> Well, uh, as usual, it's time to get gas <laughs> since we're going on a longer trip here very soon. Might as well fill up already. No, look at this. Arizona's just like California. They don't have 93. It's still V-Power Nitro, but why don't they have 93? All right, babe, once you get gas. All right. Well, I got to turn it. No, no, okay. That's sexy looking. My baby's getting gas in the Ferrari. Look at that. So why do we always have to get shell gas? Yeah, well, I mean, there's differences in gas, actually. I didn't really know this until maybe like a year and a half ago or something, but the differences in different gases, they put additives in there. So most gas stations, they pretty much get their gas from the same wholesaler, and then they put their own additives in there. So Shell's gas, for instance, has four levels of, you know, defense. It's against gun corrosion, wear, and friction. So friction occurs in the engine when piston rings move against the cylinder walls. I know it's kind of complicated, but it's basically a defense and like a lube that helps against that kind of stuff. Like gunk, for instance, that's carbon deposits that build up on your intake valves and also your fuel injector, stuff like that. So with the additives, it actually helps long term, just, you know, to have your engine running like it should. And this. So we all know it's the mighty V12. My goal is, of course, to have this running smoothly and at its peak performance, although we can only use 91 in Arizona. It's the only downfall to Arizona right now is that they don't have 93. All right. So what do you want to do? You want to go grab something to eat or what? Yeah. Boom, we got lunch and we found my sunglasses from the place we had dinner at last night. So finally I don't have to wear these ugly shots anymore. I've been able to uh surround myself with over so many years and to end up at the racetrack and have fun and go fast. Check this out guys, we're at the Penske Museum and we just saw Roger Penske himself, the new owner of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and the IndyCar Series. What's up baby? Yeah baby! <laughs> so the Penske Museum is amazing. Just look and all this stuff. And we have to give props to Joey Lugano's championship winning car, Pennzoil and Shell sponsored, of course. And it's a Ford Fusion, guys. Come on, if you're OG subscribers, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is pretty freaking cool. And as we walk outside, all these dealerships are owned by Penske himself as well. We got a Ferrari dealership, we got Jaguar, we got Rolls Royce, Bentley, Lamborghini. And as we walk over here, no, this is not my car. As you guys would know, if you paid attention. We got another white F12 here. We got a yellow, uh, I think this is Giallo something. I don't know the exact Italian name, but this is an 812, super fast. I'm not gonna do this justice at all, but it looks like solar beam yellow for the A and Gs. As we walk in here, look at the Golf livery 4GT. We got a Pista sitting here. And look at this black F12. This thing is mean and black. Oof, heavily modified as well. If you guys think my car has a big carbon fiber stick on wing, look at this thing. It's got the diffuser as well. What do you guys think? Should I get a diffuser for mine? I don't know what's up with the lettering here and the tail lights that looks kind of stupid to me but i like the wheels it's got red tire letters i don't know about putting tire letters on michelin super sport tires i mean it should say michelin on there just my opinion i do like the carbon for the air vents right there 
458 Spider. Very nice dealership. A little different from where I was working. No disrespect to Moon Township Ford, but yeah, different level here. And I don't discriminate, you know that. I love the Lambos. Check out the SVJ in black. Oh my God, this thing looks amazing. I love it. Oof. You got a Huracan Evo Spider. Looking gorgeous. This is a 1984 Indianapolis 500 winner right here. God, they're, they're just the cars look so different than they do right now. And this is from 1974. It's got a Cosworth engine. I remember from back in the day in Sweden, they had Ford Sierra Cosworths and Ford Escort Cosworths, and they were legendary. Now this is an Indy car with the same family of engines. I just love this. I have so much respect for the racing heritage. This is obviously a Lamar car right here. Time to go back upstairs and enjoy the evening. I gotta find my wife, make sure some douchebags not hitting on her. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the Ferrari F50. Just look at this car. It's over 20 years old. And every time you still see it, I mean, you're just blown away. Look at the design. Wow. All gated man, look at that. That is amazing. The Ferrari F50. And I just found out this thing is straight pipe. Look at this. First time I saw an F50, you could see through this mesh grill here. They got huge mufflers, but not this one. It is straight pipe. Look at this interior, man. This is a race car right here. Look at that. <laughs> Look at this carbon tub here. This is awesome. Look at the steering wheel. Got a gated shifter, of course. Carbon fiber shift knob. This is so simplistic. It's like three buttons right here. No buttons on the steering wheel, of course. Got air vents. F50, carbon fiber. That's it. Look at the top of these wheel wells. They're carbon fiber, man. That is amazing. Look, Ron, it's got a shell badge on there. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, we got a straight pipe Ferrari F50 startup. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that's what i'm talking about right there that is amazing it is time to get gas once again and it is also time to get back out on the road our time in scottsdale is finished it was absolutely amazing huge huge thanks to shell for inviting me shipping my car down here and having the experience with my wife as well. I'm still pissed off that they only have 91 here. Now before we end the video, we're gonna pop the hood on the F12 and just glance at the mighty V12 for one second. And check this out, Ferrari and Shell has had a relationship that dates back to the 1930s. Even the antifreeze, look at that. Which is why I was invited to this and which is why I always get Shell V Power Nitro Plus. I mean, I don't get it every time because there's not a lot of Shell stations around the Pittsburgh area here in Arizona. They're all over the place. Now, like we mentioned earlier in the video when Wifey was getting gas, it actually matters the additives that are put in fuel for the longevity of your engine, especially for a naturally aspirated V12 and the performance that it gives. The four levels of defense that V Power Nitro Plus actually gives your engine, that's against gunk, wear, corrosion, and friction. Now Shell also has a new smooth glide technology, forming a protective layer to help reduce unwanted friction in your engine. Which is what we need right now when we're about to get back out on the road. Wifey's favorite spot. Ever. Sedona, Arizona. Oh, the lovely chimes of the Ferrari. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a huge thumbs up. Wifey and myself are signing out. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Holy crap! <laughs> Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. That is amazing.